Hello, my name is Jacob from Shape Robotics. In this video, I will tell you about the Fable robot and how to program it. Okay, so the first thing we will do is to go into our website, shaperobotics.com. And I will go to download. And here it will find my operating system. I'm running on a Mac, so it says Mac OS. Uh, if you're running Windows, it should find it here. And if not, you can click on this list of all versions. And as you see, you can, uh, if you have Windows 10, you can get it from Microsoft Store. So if you click here, it opens up a pop-up where it goes directly to Microsoft Store. If you don't like to use Microsoft Store, you can also take the one that says Windows 64-bit. Uh, most uh, Windows 10 will be 64-bit. Uh, Older versions as uh, Windows 7 and Windows 8 might be a 32-bit, 30 uh, so you can use that one. But be aware if you're using 7, uh, Windows 7 and 8, you might need a, a dongle driver, uh, and there's a description of that um, here. Older versions of Mac OS, uh, Mac OS Yosemite, uh, you can also download here. After installing the program, I have taken the robot out of the box and I will turn it on. So I flip it over. There's a slider on the opposite side of the module. So I click on that. Uh, and when I turn it back, it lights up in a color. And this one is green. Uh, then I put the hub into the USB port in the computer. And it also lights up in a color. And those two colors should be the same. Otherwise, they can't see each other and you won't be able to program the robot. So if I go into Fable Blockly, I can see that the computer has found my hub and it's called ZKD. Each hub has a unique name. And I can also see that it has found uh, one module. And if I click on the little Y here, I can see that it has found uh, my joint module. And uh, the joint model module has also a unique name. This one is called 4ZE, and the signal is good. So I close it again. The first thing uh, I want is that I want my robot to move. Uh, so I go into Actions, and I take out this Move tool. And uh, the joint module moves from, uh, from 90, minus 90 degrees to 90 uh, in both uh, the X and the Y motor. So if I take just 60, so I can hit play here and see if it goes. Then I can take another move block you know, if I wanna, want it to go back. So I click that. Uh, but the problem is that the robot cannot be both at uh, 60 degrees and zero at the same time. So I need to have a weight block in between that is found here on the loops. I take the weight in the sec and I click it here in between like that. Then we can play it again. <laughs> 